How you doing everyone and welcome to this video and today is finally the day we're going to go through the build video of the filter for the Blackmagic Micro and the Blackmagic OG. So if you own one of these cameras and you're disappointed with the level of moi in your picture this will solve your problem whilst still retaining a very very good image quality. So let me hand you over to Simon now and he can walk you through it. Hello there, Simon here, and this is going to be a guide on how to install our custom OLP filter. Let's start with the tools that you're gonna need. First of all, gloves. It's really important to use gloves, because it's going to prevent you from leaving any smudges on the filter or on the sensor. Then, you're gonna need a 2mm Allen key, a T6 tip, and a tweezer. Personally, I like to use the ESD15 tweezer, but any ESD line tweezer is going to work perfectly fine. And last, an air blower. It's not needed, but comes very handy if there is any dust falls on the filter or on the sensor. In the filter, we use high quality glass with multiple layers and multiple coatings. Because of that, we included some shims for correcting any back focusing. So, let's start the installation. First, with the 2mm Allen key, you are going to remove the four screws holding the lens mount. Now we're gonna switch tips. And with the T6, you're gonna remove the two screws holding the contact pins. Now with the screws removed, you can pull on the contact pins just slightly. And I mean just slightly. And as you can see, there is a space between the contact pins and the body itself. So now you're gonna take the plastic shim, drop it inside and with the tweezer you are going to push it under the contact pins. Just as you can see here, being really careful to not scratch the original air cut. Then you can install the screws back. Make sure to not over tighten the screws. Now you're gonna take the mount spring, install it back how it was originally, and make sure that the two holes are aligned with the two pins as you can see here. And then you can take our metal shim and put it on top of the mount spring, just like this. And here as well, make sure that the two pins are aligned with the holes. Now you can take the mount, put it on top of it, and install back the screws. You can take your tweezer and as you can see there is an o-ring around the original air cut and you're gonna grab onto it and pull it out. The original air cut should be free and with a quick movement you're gonna flip it upside down and as you can see it will remain in your hand. So just put it aside, grab our filter and drop it inside the hole. Now you're gonna take the o-ring and just push it inside around the filter. With the back side of your tweezer, you can go around the o-ring and make sure that it pushed back to its place. Thank you. 
And with that, the filter is installed and you're good to go. Okay, so that was it, a very short tutorial. It's very easy to install. It's limited to 20 pieces per month. So unfortunately we can't really build any more than that at the moment because we're a very small team. There's only two of us, so it's 20 per month. The first 20 will be available straight away. As soon as they sell out, it will be a couple more weeks and then another 20 will be available. We will then have to take a small break because we need all the other filters that we make to go into the Blackmagic Eclipse because each Eclipse will come pre-installed with a OLPF filter and we just don't have the resources to manufacture them for sale and to put in the Eclipse as well. We hope to you know, scale this up and hopefully look at other cameras as well in the future, but at the moment it's gonna be limited to 20 per month. So I hope the build was helpful. Please, when you're doing the install, take your time, take care. Although it's a very easy install, we still want people to come out with the best results possible. The reason why the filters are coming out on the second is because we want enough people to see this video and make sure you're comfortable in doing the install. We don't want to sell them and then you change your mind two days later because somebody else could have had it. So please only buy it if you really want it, if you really need it and you're comfortable with doing the install. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Take care and I will see you very soon. Later.